right. Let's make sure that we're on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another one-on-one. -on -one. This has been two in one night. And the young lady that you see on your screen there, this is Miss Tasha. Miss Tasha sent me a message on Instagram, and I just happened to be checking the Instagram. And anybody else that would like to do a one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, you can um, email me at booking at yourworldmyviews.com. Go to the website and look under contact, and you'll be able to join me. Now, I did the interview, the one-on-one -on -one with a young woman a few hours ago, and it was a bit sad to me. So what I'm doing now is another one, and I don't know how it will go. So whether it goes good, bad, or indifferent, what I want to see from everyone, and especially from Tasha, is that she will tell me how she feels, what's going on, what she's thinking, and I will try to answer her as open and honest as possible. So without further ado, hello, Miss Tasha, how are you doing? How you doing? I am well, how are you? I am doing good. Okay, talk to me. What is it that you would like to talk to me about? And I'm here to answer your questions. All right. So first, um, I want to get into the topic of, as you can see, I am a dark-skinned woman. Mm -hmm. And my voice is, you know, it's, I mean, it's not man, but it's not, you know, that little ratty, you know, sound, squeaky sound. Mm -hmm. So um, I hear you talking about a lot of dark skin, a lot of black women, period. But uh, most people um, would say like dark skin women look, especially on, and you know, the thing about it is on YouTube, um, I know you're a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber too, so it's a lot of like dark skin versus light skin mm -hmm. out there. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I really just, I want to know how come you, like, how, how, why do you feel like all dark skin are ratchet, are ghetto, are um, ugly? You know, and as a dark skin man, I hear, I hear you say things like, um, you know, people call you, you know, a lot of names and stuff like that. And so for you to say that, you know, kind of stuff about dark skin women, when you guys are basically walking in the same shoes, you want to, you get what I'm, you get what I'm trying to say? Nope. Cause <laughs> I just had a show. Let me tell you why. I literally just had a show where I referred to a dark skin woman who's way darker than both of us is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I literally said at the end of that show, I have a weakness for dark skin women. So it would be strange that you would be saying that I said all dark skinned women are ugly when I've never said that. I was I, I don't know which um which one it was, but it was like you were saying you're like, see, it'd be it'd be um it'd be most of the dark skinned women. That's what you said. I, Cause I don't want to put words in your mouth. Uh -huh. But it was one of the shows that I was just watching and you said that for sure that I know you said it it does it I don't wanna sound like it it be like most of the dark skinned women that acts like ratchet and ghetto and that are, you know, So those are two like different that. so those are two different things that you're saying. You started off by saying I said that all dark skinned women are ugly and you were wondering how could I say that being dark skinned my a man myself. Right. Now you're changing it to saying well, you said that it seems like most of the people who are acting ratchet are dark skin. Okay, yeah. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I had to. I had to like really go back to because, like I said, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I don't want to, you know, what I'm saying I right. There's no problem. But um, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so I was like, well, that's not true because. Well, I want to um, ask you something to start with. If I can ask you something, let's just go back to the first thing you said, and let's just say I said that that I find. Okay all dark skinned women unattractive. Uh -huh. Why would I not be able to think that because I'm dark skinned? Like why would me being dark skinned preclude me from thinking that dark skinned women are not attractive? I mean, I have a penis. Should I be attracted to people with penises? <laughs> no, what I'm okay. What I'm, what I have no, I have no breasts. Should I be only attracted to women with no breasts? 
Right. Do you see how silly that sounds to say that because I'm dark skinned, I must now find dark skinned women attractive when I'm not a dark skinned woman. I'm a man. Typically, men are attracted to things that are opposite them. Right. Okay, let me rephrase that, if I may. Let me rephrase that. Mm -hmm. Um, If you feel, I mean, and I know most of the time it does not have anything to do with feelings. It has everything to do with facts. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Um, What I mean by that is you can, I'm trying to word it in the right way, but um, if you see most of the dark skin women act like that, no matter what color, what, what skin tone you are, then, you know, it could be a fact, you know, or what um, statistics uh, say, you know, it could, you know, it could be, you know, somewhat true just because you are dark skin, but um, I'm trying to, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to how to word it. Take your time. Lost my train of thought, but um. Take your time. Look, re- oh, where you go? Where are you? <laughs> I hear you. I said, go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm th- I thought you were talking to the cat or something. No, I'm I like, was what? saying, go I- ahead. I hear you. Okay, so yeah. Um, I guess I'm saying, if you know how it feels to be called, like to to get called all these names, charcoal and and stuff like that, like why would you, you know, make someone else feel that way? That and that's that's why I say, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with feeling. It just has something to do with. You know, somewhat facts. But there is no so facts if you're let saying. Me, let me re- but there is no facts that. if you're saying. Since I know what it's like to be called charcoal, why would I say that most dark skinned women I see are ratchet? Wait, repeat that. You said that since I know how it feels to be mm-hmm. called charcoal. No, to be called names. Period. Okay. To be called, you know. So then, why would I say that most ratchet people I see are dark skinned? You're literally saying that because people call me blackie, I can't point out that the majority of young mothers are dark skinned black women. I can't do that. No, no, no. That's and that's why I said that it doesn't have anything to do with. I said that's that's why I I guess it doesn't have anything to do with feelings. It has something to do with facts. What you're saying is a fact. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is just a feeling. You know, like, okay, well, you know, those are feelings. Like, why? basically, why would you, if you know how it feels to be called names as a dark-skinned man, why would you do it to, to a dark-skinned woman? Am I calling a woman, feel that way? am I calling these women names if I'm saying I observe that the majority of people who have deep-ass voices are dark-skinned? Am I calling that person a name? I mean, no, not if you put it like that. If I say the majority of ratchet chicks that you see online are dark skin, did I just call that person a name? No, not if you put it like that. If somebody just looks at me, has nothing to do with what I'm saying, and they say, hey, Crispy. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing. I literally did nothing. Right. They just called me a name. One Mm -hmm. called out my actions. One called me a name. And you're saying right. they're the same thing. So because I've been ridiculed for my skin color, I cannot then ridicule people for their actions. No, that's what I'm saying. Because they're not calling me crispy because I did something. Uh-huh. Right. They're not calling me blacky because I did something. Mm. I'm calling black women's behavior out because it's their behavior. If right. the majority of dark skinned chicks had sweet voices, I would say that too. If the majority of dark skinned chicks 
We're not out here fighting and grabbing and pulling each other's weave. I'd say that too. I want to point out something to you, and I don't know. What is your background? What is your background, your your ethnicity, if, if you could tell me? Um, Asian, Bahamian, and African American. You have... How do you have three separate things in you? Um, my grandmother well not my great we're not talking about great we're talking about grandmother Mm -hmm. my mom's dad asian my mom's mom bahamian your mom's dad was asian your mom's (laughs) he was he was um african-american and asian yeah your mom's mom your your, her dad her dad and your dad's Mom was no, my mom's mom is Bahamian. Your mom's mom is Bahamian. Your your dad's mom is Asian. No, please explain this. <laughs> my both of my mom's parents. It it comes from both of their parents. Both of your from mom's both, parents are what? Her, both of her parents. One one is Bahamian and one is with mixed with Asian. What is a Bahamian? My mom's mom. No, what is that? What does that word mean? From the Bahamas. Okay, is that a race or a nationality? I guess it would be. But you you asked me what. No 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 no. I, 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 is that a race or a nationality? nationality? Simple question. Right. So if one's a nationality. Uh-huh. Asian is a what? Okay, that's a race. So you, a race got mixed with a nationality, mm-hmm. and then African American came from where? I guess that's what they're mixed. That, that I guess that's that's their background. You see my point? Like you're right. you're pointing out a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. that when people look at you, what do they right. see? African American. Yep. They just see a black woman. Right. But on your uh, Instagram, the reason I say this is because on your Instagram, mm -hmm. your name is a black Asian queen. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this question. If you went anywhere into Asia, would they accept you as their queen? Simple question. Would they even accept you as one of them? Maybe not. Have you ever went there? No. You ever tried to, so you've never been there and yet you're still calling yourself an Asian queen. It's the same reason why I don't like that black people call themselves African American, yet they have no ties to Africa. When I ask a number, a person what they are and they start adding things, especially ethnicities who would not even accept them. I find that odd. You have a point. You got a point. And our women, the darker they are, the more they try to tell the world they're mixed with something. I find that odd. Well, um, to be honest, you know what I get a lot? I get um, black Cuban. Um, I get, uh, what else? Um, uh, Pakistanian, like across there somewhere. I mean, I get a, you would be amazed, you know, how many places people don't put me, you know, like said that I, that I look like I'm from. And it'd be the Cubans that come up and ask me, am I from Cuba? I get it. So yeah, then, I so I ask this, is that your, is that your hair on your head? I sent you in, and, and no, this is not, but I sent you a picture I don't know if you got it because I know you was probably going to um, bring up that. Mm-hmm. I sent you a picture of my hair. I sent you a picture of how I look with nothing on. I, well, I really have nothing on right now. Just um, mm-hmm. just eyeshadow. But um, I sent you a picture of my hair because of that. And if you see my hair, you will know why. And you will see why. As you already can see, the Asian part is the eyes. 
But if you did, you get the picture of my hair. You remember, I, all of them are like now. I can't even open the two that I used. For oh, you okay. use that when you so, sent them. That's I was hoping you would send it either through this or through email. When you send it through that thing, if you don't uh, send it right, it will literally tell you once you view it, it goes away. Oh, okay. All right. So, but yeah, when you said um, if I saw your real hair, I could tell what. Um, it won't be. It it will not be like the the type that you um normally see. I I would guess. I would say mm -hmm. it will not be like the type that you normally see if you so have you hair that's not like the type that i understand that I'm, what i'm saying so if I'm, i if your hair isn't like the type that i would normally see i'm just curious then why wouldn't you just have your wear your own hair um, my husband asks me that every day everyone because i'm not trying to be funny day. if you if you were an asian chick the one thing you wouldn't have is a full somebody my else's hair, hair on your head is longer than this so i, 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 I see that too but i want to i want to I sent it to you because I already, I watch you. I'm a fan of yours. I watch you. And I know the questions that you probably was going to ask. So I said, you know what? Let me send him a picture of my hair because you know what I was going to do? I was going to take this off just to come on here so you would not have anything to say about this hair hat or whatever. But you couldn't. No, I, I was going to. No, you, I'm saying you said you was going to. That's like if your husband told yeah. you I was going to come home. Right, well, yeah. then now you're looking for a reason why you didn't. You're like, dude, if you said you were going to come home, something must have stopped you because it's a new day yeah. now. So once you make that statement, it's usually followed up by the reason you I didn't. didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like it. I was like, you know, what? I got pictures. Let me just show him. Let me just show him the picture. And um, it was after I had washed it and everything like that. And um, yeah, but I do would you believe your husband if he told after you found out he was cheating? If he said, I know I got a good woman at home, and then you'd say, well, if you know you got a good woman at home, why didn't you come home? Wouldn't that be what you'd ask? Right, yeah. If you claim you got all this good hair under your head, why do I see so many pictures of you with weave? And everyone asks me that. Everyone. So asks then me what that. is your answer? I just don't like to wear my hair. My hair, look, let me tell you. You see how curly this hair is? Mm -hmm. My hair is 10 times curlier than this. My hair is longer than this. My hair is. You're still not answering the question. I, it's I, a simple. I, 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 let me ask you something. How old are you? 35. Maybe I wish you had seen the last interview or any interview that I watch. I'm not trying to be funny, but talking to black women is, is worse than talking to my daughter. Like I'll be asking direct questions. Y'all will laugh at stuff that's not funny. You will over explain something that took a yes or no answer. And it's confusing to hear. Like I said, right. why don't you wear your own hair? Your and answer was, said, wait, 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 hold on. Said, you said, you said, literally, this is, I'm going to give you what you said back. Okay. So you can understand it. Because this is what the audience is hearing. Okay. You see how long this hair is? You see how curly this hair is? Well, my hair is longer and 10 times curlier than this. That's not an explanation at all. Do you understand how that didn't ex explain anything? Like if yeah. you ask your kid, why didn't you come home last night? And their answer is, you see, Tommy was, um, he didn't, he didn't come home last night. And do you see how Billy didn't come home last night? What the fuck does that have to do with you? <laughs> is the question They're like, uh, you're just confusing me. Yeah, no, you, you, right. you are right about that. You are right. <laughs> you right about that. But to answer your question, um, I just don't like doing my hair, to be honest, because it takes too much time and it's, it just takes too much time, to be honest. I, I'm not about to sugarcoat it. I'm not about to go all do dance around it. It just takes too much time to do my hair. Period. So gluing that thing on your head doesn't take long. Um, sewing up the hair underneath your head so you can put that on doesn't take long. Well, see the thing about the thing about um my hair is it's very very hard to maintain. So, like say for instance, like the the weave, I can just like I don't sleep with nothing over my head, I, and I could just get up, brush, go. You understand what I'm saying? But with my hair, it's frizzy. Nothing keeps it down. No gel, no water, no nothing keeps it down because it 
little spikes be sticking up everywhere and then um the ends of my hair gets puffy so i'm saying that hairstyle you have is not so i'm saying the hairstyle you have now is not hard to do it's not hard to to do it how long does it take you when you go to the beautician to get that done how long would it take you um about 45 about 45 minutes but that's one time that's not every day so in in 45 minutes they um corn roll your hair and they either sew this in or they glue it in on the front because because you have to have the win. okay and that yeah, only yeah. takes 45 minutes yeah about 45 minutes that's interesting because most Cause women all it is, is it's just gluing tracks and then just sticking because really most don't wear um because most women who get it done and there's a lot of people in the comment section who are women i've never heard of anybody being able to go in and get that done for 45 minutes I've yeah, never about heard that. Minutes. That's impressive. Um, that's I, that's I, I live in Miami. I don't know where they live at, but I live in Miami. Okay, mm -hmm. so okay, well, I, I, I'm going to take your word for it. So um, <laughs> you're saying it takes 45 minutes to do this. Mm -hmm. How long will you keep it in before you have to get it redone? Um, I've had uh, well, to answer it direct, um, maybe like a month or two. That's how I know people that keep it in longer, but me personally, I keep it in and I do hair too. So I mm -hmm. don't normally go to a beautician. Okay. I just go ahead and do it myself nine times out of 10. So it, it you know, about a month or two is as long as you keep it in. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't, and, but right after I take it out, I'm getting it done right back over. Like I'll probably wear my hair for like a day. Oh, so they take um, it out to, to like refresh it. Right, to refreshing it, yeah. Okay, and it's usually 45 minutes each time. Right. All right. Depend, depend, actually, depending on the style that I get. Like, if I get, like, something that has to be cut, you know, and stuff like that, curled, cut, yeah. But, like, straight hair, this is curly hair. Mm -hmm. So, curly hair, you don't need to straighten it. You don't need to do anything to it. All you need to do is put it on, and boom, you're gone. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You don't have to comb it, flat iron every piece of hair. You know, you don't have to do none of that. With so hair. let me ask you, with it, like everyone else who does this, they get this thing called traction alopecia. Because like you said, you only wear your hair maybe like one day and you go right back to what you were doing. Mm -hmm. Does it not bother you that you end up losing your hair and ruining your natural hair? By having this thing on your head, three sixty five, basically. I mean, yeah, but uh, the ease I mean, and convenience is more. Like, you feel like you look better anyway with that on, so you don't really give a shit what happens to your real hair. No, Let's I be actually honest. look better with it off. So I'm told, but it's that ain't what I'm asking you about. Now. What you're told is what you feel. Because if right, you felt you look better with I, it off, I you wouldn't put like, it on. Right. I feel like, um, I mean, it really, I feel like I look good with it on, with it off, with whatever. Just as with makeup. People say I look the same with or without makeup. But, you know, I just do it to enhance, to enhance it. But um, at the same time. How I long mean, have you been married? I've been married nine years. Is marriage difficult? No. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say that we. I was do about to say you're the first person to say that marriage was easy. Huh? I said you're the first person to say marriage was easy. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. That's why. Listen. That's what I'm saying. Marriage is not easy. As when a person say, "Is marriage difficult?" Mm -hmm. I feel like my parents are still married. Uh -huh. My parents been together since before I was born. All right, since high school sweethearts. Um, they never got divorced. They've never broken up. We've always owned our house. Spoiled. I have two other brothers. Uh, I'm the oldest and I'm the only girl. I have a younger brother that's 22 and a younger brother that's 30. Okay. Um, my mom worked all her life. You got to get to the, I, see, here's what you're doing. You do you understand what you're doing it again? I wanted to just know about your marriage. I wanted to okay, know. So. <laughs> and you're like going into other stuff. And I'm like, the no, answer is being lost now. I was getting somewhere. I was getting somewhere. Okay. Um, 
somewhere. I was getting So you got you got to get there cuz when you do that you lose train of thought. I hope you understand you did that earlier because you just kept going down other right. roads you were like, "I don't even know what I was going to say." So if you could, please just answer what I'm asking. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I tend to do that in Okay. So, but yeah, um pretty much it's not easy. I will say it's not easy. No one, no one is perfect, okay? But I do also feel that it is what you make it. You understand what I'm saying? It is what you what you make it. I see some people say it's horrible. I see some people say it's a lot of stuff, but it's what you make it, honestly, honestly. Okay, so the reason I asked that is I was going somewhere with it. A man that's been with a bunch of women, and if you've only been married to your husband nine years, if he's around, around your age, that means he probably had been with women before you. And you might have been with men before him. But you made a vow which said you won't be with anybody else now that you're together. That is difficult because you walk out every day and you see handsome men. He walk out every day and he see fine women. You get hit on by handsome men and rich men and all kinds of things. He might have the same thing. He might get hit on by handsome men. Now, he might get hit. <laughs> if he's a fine niggas be hitting on your husband, I seen it. No. <laughs> if he like, if you, he might get hit on by beautiful women. And at the same time, while this is going on, you have to stay faithful, which is in itself difficult. But you do it because you love each other, right? I go back to your hair. Mm-hmm. Yes, it may be difficult as you stated. Where am I going with this? But I have to maintain it, I guess. Like like your relationship, right, because you I love to... your relationship, you mm-hmm. take care of it, you nurture it, and you grow it. Right. The only way that a person would not do that with their hair is the same reason they wouldn't do it with a relationship. Because you don't love it. Because you don't like it. Because if you do love it, it wouldn't matter. Because you have children, yes? Uh It was easier in life before you had the children than it was after. Because when you didn't have the children, you sleep all morning. Now you got a baby that don't give a shit that you want to sleep. You might have took some months off and didn't work because you didn't have to take care of nobody. But now you got a kid, you do. So that being said, you had children knowing it would make your life difficult, yet you still did it because you love them. To hear an individual say, I'd rather take the easy route because it's easier to do my hair. Well, if you loved it and you cared about it, you treat it like your kids, your relationship, your family, your friends and everything else that you feel was worth fighting for, worth working at. So this is what hurts me to hear black women who are the main people who say, if you want to date us, you got to deal with our crap. We're not like anybody else. And if you want to deal with a strong black woman, as a matter of fact, a lot of times whenever a man dates outside his race, they say it's because he's too weak to handle a strong black woman. Black women love to say strong, strong, strong. Well, I don't think that. Well, strong people. I don't think strong has a color to it. I understand. Whether you're a strong black woman or a strong white woman, once you start saying you're strong, you should be strong enough to deal with your hair, especially when you're going to pass that hair down to your children mm-hmm. right do you can you understand yeah. that like what you're passing down is to your kids that they shouldn't like their hair because if they see their mother who other people keep saying you have great hair but she doesn't feel that way to the point of where she keeps it covered 24 7 seven days that we can think about it if your husband loved you but nobody knew you existed Would you believe he loved you? Would you believe he cared? Mm -mm. Would you think anybody else would believe he cared if he kept you a secret? Mm -mm. So your child isn't going to believe that you care about your hair because you keep it secret. Because you'd rather have something on top of it than care for it. To learn how to deal with it so you would know you how to do it quick. I dated a woman who had natural hair and she'd get up in a few minutes. She knew how to do her because she'd been doing it for so long. Just like anything else. The first time you was on a computer, it was confusing to you. 
Now, the first time I got these phones, I said I won't use them because it didn't have the buttons. I liked it when they had the buttons so I could feel it. I said, this doesn't make any sense. You'd have to feel the screen. You wouldn't know what you were touching. Now, I can type fast as a mug on this screen. Because everything you do, the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So then I have to ask, you were wondering why I think this way about dark skinned black women. Mm -hmm. You other than a lot, there's a lot of things you have not done, but a lot of things just off talking to you surface wise, your, your camera went off. I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm trying to get it back. I'm trying to get it back. Right. I can hear you though. I still can hear you, uh -huh. but I'm just trying to get it back. Right. Okay. But, um, you have, um, done a lot of things that I speak about of black women. Dark skinned uh -huh. women always want to claim they're mixed with something. Right. Dark skinned women are quick to big up themselves. Why would an individual call themselves a queen? Mm -hmm. Dark skinned women seem to be like when you speak to them logically, like they're not really hearing it. Like they don't understand like logic. I'm not saying deep stuff right now. I don't think I'm saying, but like the woman who was on the show before you, they were arg she was talking, but you couldn't understand what she was saying because she was just talking to be talking. Right. I looked at some of your pictures on Instagram. Not trying to be uh, funny in, in the least, but now that you say you are married, I'm shocked. Uh-huh. Because of looking wow. at, well, I won't say it. Because of looking at the photos, and if I scroll all the way down, do you uh -huh. know the one thing that I do not see? My husband. That's right. But I do see children. You know why? No, no, go ahead. Why. I'm going to tell you why. You know why? Yes, go ahead. Um, because, wait, hold on, let me get you back on this screen. Yeah, please. Because all you have to do is press that camera button and it comes right back on. This is my first time ever using this, so I don't know. Oh, that's okay. okay. That's why I didn't mind telling you. All right. Okay. So, you can see me now? Yes, ma'am. Why is my pictures up here? Because I put oh, them up there. Because I wanted the people to see. Oh, okay. That's you. I'm yes. In. Okay. All right. So, that that um black asian queen um if you don't know i model um and you, i was trying at one point to be an actress and that's you model well, that's whole other, yeah right so this picture this right here is only this um instagram page is only for business purposes that's why it's a business profile. You see on, on it is business, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. I have another one. My Facebook, if you go go to my Facebook right now, Natasha Pruitt Mitchell, go to that one. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to just say, though, I mean, I understand you're saying it's just business, but your children are here. Um. Well, that's only because I'm trying to do this thing with my daughters. Um. You know, a lot of people like uh, mother daughter stuff, and I'm very interactive with my kids. So, um, they well, your sons were on there too. Yeah, um, that was the old picture though. That was like, that was uh, that was a while ago. Do that, you understand? Uh, okay, do you understand what's happening one here? Let, please, and I and I want you in the audience to understand what's going on. And uh -huh. I'm trying to have have a patience for it, but I I can't. Mm -hmm. I asked you a question. You said it's a business page. I pointed out that there were children there. You said, oh, well, you know, people like mother daughter stuff. I said that. No, no, no. Uh huh? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Uh -huh. Before I made it a business, as you can see, when my son was on there. um, And he actually put that picture up there. I didn't put that picture up there. But the one with my with the baby girl on it doing the um the level up dance. You seen that one? Um. Do you understand? I just literally asked the question. I've seen everyone else but one guy. So I would not think you were married was all I said. That if I watched this page, I would not son, think it. You seen one son, one picture of my son, one. But and no pictures of the guy, of the husband, ma'am. Do you not understand this? All I said oh, was, okay. do, does the, the audience, do you guys not understand what I'm saying? I said, by looking at this page, I would not have believed you were married. That's all I'm saying. That's because you're seeing a, a, Instagram a business page, page which has children. 
I would see if you said, but no, I got four children, sense. but they're not on here either. Then I'd say, well, that makes sense. No, no, no. That the children part is on there for before I made it a business. My son put his that one picture that you've seen. He put that on there. That one picture. My son put that on there. OK, boom. He's out the way. Now, I have one. I just posted up there with my daughter doing the um doing um the level up challenge with me because people was, you know, putting the challenges out there. So that's a business. As you can see, that that got almost three thousand views because it was, it was um, how do you say it? It was like a business um promotion. Like they like Instagram was promoting that that video. That's why that was on there. Now the other one um, that's not why that was on there. That's there because you put it there. Huh? That's not why that was there. That's there because you put it there. Right, I put it there, but that one was for, you know, when they were... I understand what it was for. Everything is for right. something, but we're putting it up there. All my photos are up there because I put them there. Whether it's up there right. because I want to show off my penis size or if it's up there because I want to show how nice of a house I got, I'm putting it up there. So my, my thought was, and I'm still, it doesn't change what I said, that if you look at that page, I see a woman with her with, with tight clothes on, with a butt out, with a weave out, and I see her children, but I do not see one photo of a husband, so I would not think that one exists. Like, why can't you understand that? Well, I can see No, that. I understand, but I'm explaining to you, which I feel like I don't have to, but I am. No, you don't, because I was just saying, when right, someone explains you, something, you I'm don't ask you. for an explanation. Like, what would you be explaining if I don't need an explanation, because all I'm doing is pointing out to you that from looking at this page, you do not appear married. So... Right. It would be another thing that I was saying about like you are married, which is something that I talk crap about, but you actually are married. But I'm just right. surprised that that isn't something that is being pushed because when you said, well, people like mother daughters, well, people like wives, too. You, you're absolutely right. And, and let me tell you, something. I don't I don't do Instagram. I only I will post a picture here and there. And all those pictures that you've seen on there, my husband actually took and posted up there. So. Okay, thank you for subscribing, whoever you are. Um, um, my husband actually takes my photos and uh, we post them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Now we have another Instagram that was old that um, what, before I started doing the business type thing, um, we're trying to really push my dream out there. Uh, we, you know, I is, had I was I had another Instagram page that um, I put them on, but Facebook is what I use. I use Facebook for every single thing. Is every there a reason? Is there a reason why your husband takes these photos with you and asks you to remove your wedding ring? I'm sorry. Is there a reason why your husband takes these photos of you and asks mm -hmm. you to remove your wedding ring? No, I have to get another wedding ring. I bro mine's broke. I have to get another one. I have one though, but mine's broke. So, but if you go on, like I said, if you go on to what um, hand? I'm let me ask well, you something. I'm, what hand are you? What What's your strong hand? My right. You just put up your right hand so, and said, <laughs> "Dude, I'm just saying. Like, see what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm just look. But I'm just I being a I dick, be but I pay attention. Okay? I'm just saying I pay attention." And I made I sure <laughs> I made sure that the screen wasn't flipped. So I said, which hand is your strong one? And you did it. And I was like, you said my right one. I was like, ah, we're going to have a good conversation. Tommy, I am letting you flame my ass. OK, but we you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a good conversation because I am trying to really show you that all dark skin is not how you think it is. Now, I can get ghetto and wretched. All day, every day. I'm from the <laughs> MIA 305. All day. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. Oh, but I'm not asking you to get, like, but there would be no reason for you to be, like, get on ratchet with me simply because I've been very respectful and I haven't said anything yeah, wrong. Like, it, I, I do know what makes black women mad, though, and I hate to say this. The truth. Right. Black women like talking. They like to be able to say stuff and they don't even want people to listen to them. And the reason why they get mad at me is because if you tell me two plus two is four, four plus four is eight, eight plus plus eight is twelve, I stop for a second. 
I say every number doubled itself because they said that number plus itself. For some odd reason, when she said eight plus eight was 12, well, that didn't double itself. So then I'm going to ask, why didn't eight plus eight double itself like four plus four and two plus two did? The typical black woman would get pissed at you. Like how my mother used to tell me, stop asking questions. Well, with you, you said I could get ratchet. As if I said something wrong when I actually was right. I was right that your pictures have no ring in them. Mm -hmm. I was right that you thought that the right, your strong, you put up your right hand <laughs> and said, no, I wasn't oh, even paying attention. well, I but, wasn't but even what, but what I'm saying is natural response of something that's been done for nine years, mm -hmm. a person who's had a ring on their finger, the left finger for nine years, and I'm not married and I knew this. Mm -hmm. The first thing subconsciously would come up is that you would do this because yeah, you've had I, it there for so long. I have, a I have a tattoo also. I have a tattoo and I have a ring. That's and what I'm saying. You can see this ring, this finger. Well, I don't know if you can really see it. Mm -hmm. This ring finger is skinnier than this. Yeah. She shoot me a bird for no reason. She shoot me a bird. No. <laughs> this finger is skinnier because I've never took it off until it broke mm -hmm. into the, you know, into the, cause it was like a diamond. So that I had a, I listen, let me tell you, but, um, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to save up and get a brand new, uh, like this was recent too, but, um, we're going to save up and get a whole another pair. So that's that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got another subscriber. Okay. okay I'm on the road. So, but, so he, um, mm -hmm. but to mm -hmm. be honest with you, Tommy. And the reason why I say what I say. Like, why do people say to be honest with you before when you thought they were being honest in the first place? <laughs> like, in what place was a lie coming in there? That's what I'm talking about. I am not no, I'm, ju I'm just trying to help honest. black people with their language. Like, why that's would an individual. A figure of speech. Yes, that's but I'm saying, but what, like, where does it come from? I know it's a figure of speech, but if just because. I don't know. I, you know what? And that's funny because I feel the same way, but I still say it. Because whenever someone says to be honest with you, I'm like, have you been lying before? Huh? I like, because when someone says to be honest with you, I'm like, have you been lying before? And, and that's what I was just saying. Like, I do the same thing, but yet I still say to be honest. I don't know. I think it's just a trend or a, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's just a figure of speech. But, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, and the reason why I explain, even though you say that you need a yes, no, I like to explain myself because some people, everything is not what it looks like. That's well, hold on. Like let me, I, I say this all the time on the show and let me say, let me help you out. Maybe this will help you in the future. Yes or no question still can be explained. Right. Did you get married in 1989? No. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> Like seriously, you 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 walk the person back when you give them their answer. Like seriously, they walk the back. First. Yes, because you know it's a yes or no answer, but you're saying there's more to the yes or no answer. So, but right. it's still yes or no. Did you right. come home last night? No, baby, but let me explain. Cuz if your husband just starts off explaining and doesn't say yes or no, you're going to try to stop him and be like, "No, wait a minute. Did you come I home?" A simple question. <laughs> yeah. You you are right about that. You are right. You are so right. Yeah, you are right. Mm -hmm. so, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. So like I said, I like to explain. Like, but you know, you just explained it to me in a better way that I can, you know, say yes to no and explain myself. So um, but yeah, like I said, if you go on to my um my Facebook, what I do use on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. you will see nothing but my husband on there. Everyone in their grandma has my Facebook page. Not too many people. The people that got my Instagram page is just people I don't even know. But, um, like, they, and I don't even follow them back. Like, I don't even know. But it's just business purposes. And like I said, my kids was on there because we were doing the level up challenge and also we was doing the Drake challenge in your feelings challenge. That's the only reason that they were on there. Obviously, it's a business page. So if I want to get those videos out there, 
that's what I would do. No matter if Jesus Christ on there, Moses, I don't care who is not on there that's supposed to be on there. If I am doing one thing to try to get something out, that's just like celebrities. Celebrities marry, but you see them on there. They're, the cover of, you know, in the videos have their naked G-strings on, goddamn, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody talking about, oh, well, you wouldn't think she's married, now, now did you? No. So, the fuck? No. Nobody better not ever get on my things about I'm not married. Because all my, all my social media say I'm married. Nothing says single. Nothing. Well, let me let me hold on a second. Hold on. Let me let me stop you. Let me hold on a second. But 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 hold on. But hold but hold on. Hold on a second, if you can. Okay. If those people came into the game married, people typically know it. Right. If they may have gotten married afterwards, I still don't know a celebrity that you just would be shocked. Name a celebrity that you know that you're shocked to find out they're married because they don't say they're married. Name one, if you could. Um, I really don't know too well. Well, if you don't know them, then you couldn't say what you just said. No, I mean, I, not off the top. I know some is like, is like, or was married at least. Maybe they're divorced now, but some was married. Like, um, mm -hmm. who, what, Jen, I know Janet Jackson was married. And she no said it. Married. She announced it. Huh? She announced it. Mary J. Blige was married. She announced um, I, it. She's not married no more, no more, right? Nope, they got a divorce, but you knew she yeah, was married when she was married. Um, I just know it's a lot of celebrities out there. Even, it don't even have to be singers, rappers. It could be actresses. It could be actors that is married, but still go into uh, videos. My only point is it doesn't or, happen in 2018, 2017, 2016. Typically people who have been married in the 2000s, you know they're married. I don't know anyone right. who they've hid their marriage because it's too easy to find it out, so there's no reason to try. Right. Well, no, I'm not saying that they hid it. What I'm saying is that just because you dress a certain type, well, I don't, I, I, I dress very respectful. I like body suits. As you can see, hell, I got on goddamn body suit right now. I don't show my body. I don't sell my ass. I don't. Oh, there's sell nothing my wrong ass. with there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with having a nice figure and showing it off. What I'm trying to say though, I have is, four kids. Mm -hmm. Four. But what I'm trying okay. to let, let me get to this. I talk about dark skinned women and their self esteem. Mm -hmm. You're trying to become a model. At 33, I'll say you've been doing it for two years. How long have you been no, doing it? Um, no, I've been, um, I've been, how am I explaining this? Um, I, obviously I'm 35 now and it, it really don't even matter your age because I mean, I technically don't look it, but at the same time. You see how again, I asked a simple question and you're saying no, a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, I you know just what? want to know no, no, when I you started. No, I said no. No, no, I just want to know when you started. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was asking me, like, am I? I no, I said, I you've been doing this for, like, two years, right? And you said, no. Oh, I said, no, okay, well, yeah, when did you start? No. Yeah, I said, no. Um, um, since I was probably just coming out of high school, uh, probably 18, 19. Okay, so let me ask you. Years. So let me ask you this question. I used to back okay. up dance. I used to dance, and it's my life. Okay, so let me ask um, you this question. Okay, let's 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 um, let's short answer a lot of stuff unless there's a, a big explanation, and that there there okay. needs to be an explanation there because I just wanted to know how long have you been doing this? Okay, you said since eighteen, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that would mean you've been doing this for seventeen years. Is this your this is your main way that you make money modeling now? No, I what? stopped for years. I stopped, but um, if I can explain, <laughs> um, I stopped because I put everything to the side when I started having kids. Because um, even though I had all the support, mm -hmm. all the help, all the everything that I can ask for. It was not working um, in my favor. And the thing about it is, and what makes me really sad and pissed off, and, you know, and this is still going on. But um, 
sorry. What's wrong? What happened? As a dark skin. <laughs> as a dark skin woman, no matter how pretty you are, no matter how pretty you are, it seems like it's just never, never, ever good enough. And I get that I am beautiful every day, every day by white people, Spanish, blacks, young, old women, men, no matter who it is. Oh, are you a model? Are you this? Are you that? But it's like, if you don't have, if you don't have the fake body, even though I have a nice shape, you know, but excuse me um if you don't have the fake body or um if you don't if you're not light skinned how old is your oldest she's 15 okay so in the prime of your modeling 20 years you decided to have a baby at 19. Why? If you was, were taking modeling um, seriously. Well, at that time, I wasn't, um, I wasn't taking it serious at that time. I wasn't. But that's the I prime of your serious. But that's the prime of your life. That would be like me trying to try out for the NFL right now. I'm going to tell you. Uh huh. And I've never, I've never, this is the first time I've ever told anybody anything, testimonies, whatever. I'm going to just, I'm not going to try to explain too long, but I'm going to try to answer your question as short as possible. Um, At that time, at the time I got pregnant, I was 18. At the time, I was, I had one more class to finish in high school. So therefore I graduated in the summer, in the summertime. So I started dating my daughter's father at set when I was 17. Um, I had just turned 17 and he was 20. Okay. He was 20 and, um, I had, uh, I guess, you know, whatever, whatever happened, happened. That was my first, that was everything, everything to me, everything. I, we was about to get married after I had the baby, everything, everything. So sometimes you can have a plan, but does not mean that that plan is going to work. And that's why I don't understand when people say, oh, well, well, why this? And, and why would you have a baby out of? You know, well, I mean, I, I don't really get that, but I hear people, you know, telling other people or it's, it's around the world. Why are you having a baby without being married? Why are you? I don't understand why, what is the yeah. point. Why you ask me, why do I say what I say about dark skinned women? If I can't answer uh -huh. it, why would I why would I do it? No. It wasn't an offensive question. No, no, no. No, I'm not talking about you. No, no, no. I'm saying you ask me why, oh. but you're bothered uh -huh. by a why question. Right. You're bothered that someone would ask you, why would you do this? When literally you're asking me, why do I do what I do? Mm. Now, at least what I do is for my career. What you right. did was derailing your career. And yet you have a problem with people asking, if you're really serious about modeling, why did you become a teenage mom? No, well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting to. At the time that... um. At the time that I got pregnant, I wasn't thinking about modeling at that time. I but you said you've been modeling I, since you were 18. I'm going by what you said. No, right. That's that's when I, I knew in my head that that's what I wanted to be. Okay? And at that same time, but you no got way, pregnant. No way. No way. I went off to school and everything. So it was no way that I was going to, um, like, you know, I was just being a teenager at that time. So I wasn't trying to take anything serious or you know at, at that time at that time so do you understand started, i'm only going by what you said when i said did you start right. modeling two years ago because i thought that's when your stuff online you said no i've been modeling since i was 18 then you went into right. the story about how they treat dark-skinned people but i was like mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with you being dark skinned. So I asked you how old was your kid? You told me your kid was 15. I did the math. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Because no, no, I'm saying I did the math and said it's not about your skin color. If you're not taking your job seriously, you're not taking no, your job I'm seriously. If when you started saying I want to be a model, you came up pregnant. That's literally right, not taking your job seriously. To do with it. And let, let me let me let me also explain that to you. I hate when people say that too. I don't because I don't I don't ever tell a person that, oh you can't do something because you have kids. I didn't Hell say you no. can't. I said you're not taking no. it seriously, ma'am. No, no, no. That but that's not true either. It actually you can is. Take something serious. No, 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 no. That's your opinion. But you can take you can take it serious and if still you, have kids. If you have the perfect support team behind you. Listen to what you're saying. That's the point of that. You're not taking it seriously. That's like saying I'm a sprinter, but I want to cut my leg off because if I get the perfect fake leg, I can still run. Who does that? I, I, I can afford this apartment, but what I'm going to do is quit my job so I can and hope that I got the perfect people around me so I can still get this apartment paid for. Do you not understand that? That, that you're sabotaging. I'm not saying you couldn't still do it, but you're not taking it seriously because you literally are sabotaging it. And I literally just told you, you're right. I wasn't taking it serious at that time. No, you that's didn't say that. You said, I can't say that. That's my opinion. No, no, no. When, when, when I said that, you said, well, you just said that you've been doing it since you were No, guys, that. guys, guys, audience. Did I not say you weren't taking it seriously because if you were, you wouldn't have had a baby. She said, you cannot say that. That's what you said. My point, my, like I said, we can play it back or however you want to do it. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, um, at that time, and, and no, and that's what I said. I wanted to be a model and, you know, do all this amazing, you know, acting and stuff like that at that time. You know, but I didn't really start taking it. I didn't really start to take it seriously. Was like, okay, bam, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm, because you know, normally when you get out of school, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go to college. I'm a, I'm gonna be, you know, a nurse or whatever the case is. So that's what I went ahead and did. I went to school for nursing. Bam. Okay. Found out that wasn't for me. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna just stick to my dream. Follow my dream. My mom helped me with my kid. Um, and that's where I can say the stuff about everything else I was just telling you about. How many children do you have? Facts. How many children those do you have? Are facts, right? How many children do you have? Four? I have four. Um, how old are they? 15, 14, three and eight. So, so you not only had one. You had two back to back. I, yeah, I had. Because um, if you have a 15 and a 14, that, that, that's an easy one to answer. You have a 15 and a 14 yeah. year old. You The answer is yes. You see what I'm saying? I like, said, yeah. I will say things and you literally are sitting there thinking, I don't know. I don't No, I said yes. You didn't hear me say yes. I nope. said yes. Play it back. I said yes. I so said you yes. just said yes. And I was. Play it back. I said yes. We'll play it back afterwards and, and we'll see. Okay. But I the point that. is, like, so you not only made the so-called mistake once of, of derailing your dream, you did it mm -hmm. twice when you stated after the first one that you needed the help of a support system to even raise them. No, that's not what I said. You didn't? No. I What I said was, I didn't say I needed the help. I said I had the help. I didn't say I needed the help. Now, and that's what I'm saying. That's that's that goes back to. Um, now, this is a very serious. If you didn't topic need the help, why did you bring up the support system that you didn't need? Because I mean, if you're going gigs and stuff, you still need someone to you know watch your kid and you know be there for you to. So do then you stuff, did right? need them. Any of you didn't that, need them. Okay, let me tell you like something. That, Either you did not need them and you just used them because you were a user, because you didn't need them, you just used them anyway. Or you did no. need them. It's only one of two answers. You either did not need them, but you used them, or you actually did need them. Which one is it? 
Okay, well, if you want to put it like that, it's not if I want to put it like that. That's literally what it is. It's either you right? need you didn't need them, but you use them, or you did need them, and you're trying to take credit away from them now. Which one is it? I'm not trying to take credit. From so no which one. one is it? Did you need them or not? Okay, yeah, I needed them. I needed them. So if you needed them after one, chances are you need them more after the second one, right? Right. That's how that works. Because now you have two drinking milk. You have two needing to be babysit. You have two needing to have that diaper change. The, the, the more, if I have, if I buy another car, I guarantee you more of my money is going to go towards buying the car. That's how that works. If I have another house, more of my money will go towards that house. It will be split twice now. That's how it works. So if you have two kids, it's split twice. So after doing it once, knowing you needed help, you did it a second time, which required you to have more help. Mm -hmm. Um, question: What does this have to do with anything about dark skin women? Well, because you were trying to, because you were trying to say that it's so difficult to become a model being dark skin. It is. But you, you put roadblock. But you put roadblocks. But you put road. What I'm trying to tell you is, you put roadblocks in front of yourself, so you can't blame it on color. No, no, no. I can blame it on color because when I did take it serious, that's what it is. And you know, just as well as I know, just as well as everybody on your live know, nowadays it's all about light skin, fake booty, fake titties, plastic ass bitches. Says the that's woman. All it's about. Says the woman who came on my show and said that she likes having fake hair over her real hair. No, we're not talking about fake hair because everybody wears fake what, hair. Well, no, everybody. About, no, no, dear. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about everybody the doesn't. Hair. Because even even if even if say I I go far, you know, they're gonna put weave on me anyway. Name some so, thirty five year old models you know that made it. Name one. Not not too many. <laughs> no, no, I'm asking you. See, if this is your job, let me let me point something out to you. See, that's why I'm taking the color out that you're trying to add in. See, when people are serious about their job, they have an answer for questions like that because they know why they're doing it. It's just like every. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you would know the history of it because people who are trying to do something, do something as simple as study it. So if you're trying to be a model at 35, you would look and see any history of this happening so you would know the precedent if you don't know the precedent i don't believe you're doing it seriously because you haven't researched it right doesn't that make sense it makes perfect you're sense. trying to be something and you don't know something that i know and i'm not trying to be it that's like mm -hmm. me going into my doctor's office and i know more about an eye chart than he does mm -hmm. i know more about this than you do there's a problem what? Okay, I'm gonna let me, you know what. Let me let me rephrase this. Let me because I think you got it. You're gonna say you don't. You're gonna say that you that you're only going about what I'm telling you. Okay, so my Instagram page is a promotion page. Obviously, I do my YouTube channel. If you can see, um, I um promote myself for my YouTube channel on there. So as far as modeling, meaning um, the type of modeling that you probably think. That was the past. I've already established I'm not light enough. Uh, I'm not getting no goddamn surgery. Uh, I'm not walking around half naked. And I'm not walking around sleeping with a bunch of men. So, therefore, we already done established that the modeling, the actual modeling is just out of the picture. Why is Tiana That's Taylor, cool. why is Tiana Taylor I, get so much work? Who? Tiana Taylor. Uh, I don't even, I've heard of that name, but I don't really know, like, what, sh what is she? If you are is saying she? that dark-skinned women don't get work, maybe you should also look up dark-skinned women who are. Again, well, research. No. I, I was, okay, now, okay, you have a point there. I know, I didn't say all dark skin. What I'm saying is 90%, it's harder for a dark I'm not saying it's not, but what I'm asking you to do is something simple, which is look at the people who've broken the glass ceiling and see how they did it. If you right. know it is a niche thing, like making the um, NBA, if you have a son, and I don't know if he's an athlete, but if he yeah. is, the one thing he knows is less than 1% of American boys or world boys, less than 0.11111% will ever go to the pros. He should know right. this. 
And if you're a white boy, you know it's harder for you to get to the pros than anybody else. But when you do, you understand. You say, let me look at who's made it and how they made it and what they did to make it. So all I'm and asking you. I try to do. So I'm when I say to Tiana that. Taylor, you should know her. You should know Bri somebody said Bria Miles. You should know all of these dark skinned women who've actually made a living and then try to use some of what they've done to make that living is all I'm saying. Right. No, I get what you're saying. Um, and and my answer to that is I have looked up um some dark skinned women. Like but, who? I mean, I don't I don't know what they do. Give me an example of the ones you know about. Know. Give me the ones I don't know who they know. I know Give me an example um, of some dark skinned models you know that have made it, that are getting paid. That's all I no, want. I don't know. know any dark skinned models. I don't but know any dark skinned models at all besides the um I don't know her name. What's the African lady? You that, do you do about? you see that's a point? That's the only one that I So know. do you understand so, that I'm making a real point that you should, when you walk away from this, should say, this is something I'm going to go look up because it makes sense now. Like if I find out who it, is making money, let me find right. out how they're making money. If you want to be a YouTuber, wouldn't you study a YouTuber that's successful? Right. And that's why I said my another big dream of mine, and that's why I made my YouTube channel. And also I said, okay, you know what? I am going to... I love I love being in front of the camera. I love taking, you know, I love being in front of the camera. So let me just start my YouTube channel. I love talking to people. I love meeting people. I love doing challenges and all this other stuff. You can never, you can't put an age on YouTube. You you cannot put an age on YouTube. You cannot put a look on YouTube. I see all types of looks, ages, and everything on YouTube. So that's why, mind you, I told you I have I started my YouTube channel. So now acting you know i consider that as part as uh in the modeling field as well but you know if that happens that happens but right now i'm gonna stick to my youtube because that's just what i know and that's what i like to do i love the camera so um like i said man if you're all wondering dark skins, if you're wondering why I say what I say about dark skinned women and black women in general, it's simply because I have these people who I know are mothers, like the woman who came on the show before you. She's 22 years old. She has a five year old and a one year old. And having simple conversation with these people who are mothers. It's like pulling teeth and they're adults. And she was 22. I said, she sounds like she's 15. You're 35 and I'm not trying to be a, Offensive, but you really do not sound like a woman who's of 35 years old. You sound like a woman who's in her early 20s or late teens. I'm asking you questions that anyone should know if they're serious, especially at your age. It's time for you to be serious. You're 35, okay, so. not 15. So all these questions, I know your response should have been. You think I'm stupid? I've already done that. Yes, it's so and so, so and so, so and so. That's why I'm doing this, right, that and the right. other. What I'm Go ahead. What I'm saying is, okay, I can understand whatever you're talking about. Uh, the other girl. Well, number one, I'm not her. Okay, um, that's just number one. Number two, I am. I came on here, number one, to let you see all black women, are, all dark skin women, are not the same. I'm very smart. Very. Yet I never said they were the now, same. Now I am. I Yet I never said they were the same. So you came on here to prove to some me something. No, 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 no. What, what you like? What you just said? Um, just because you don't think that I answered some of your questions the way that you, you didn't answer them. You now you're trying to play semantics and act like, oh, I was just I'm I'm making this up. No, you literally didn't no, answer. No, but no, if you no, want to play no, that no, game no, and act no, like you no, didn't, no, I'm not going to no. let somebody insult me and tell me no, that they I'm answered my question, but I didn't I'm get saying, it. I am not saying that you're making anything up. You're saying so that I'm just because I didn't I didn't accept your answer. or I didn't understand it. No, you didn't answer the question. Right. But what I'm saying is. If you let me finish explaining what I'm saying is. And just like you said, I'm not gonna, you're not going to let me insult you. I'm not going to let you make me look like a fucking idiot. You're That's doing that yourself. Point blank. But you're doing that. Now, I'm not. No, no, no. I am not answering the questions how you, there you go again. that I should answer. No, you're not answering now, the period. Me, I'm just, okay. 
She keeps like saying that she's not answering the way that I, an- I want her to answer it. But I, that's why, again, y'all pointed out, I say it again. This is why I never have qu- uh, conversations with black women without witnesses. I won't do it because they'll just no, sit there and lie fine. the whole time. That's, that's fine. But again, you're going to. OK, I, like I said, I came on here. This is recorded. Day. You're going to also you're going to make it. Whatever you say, you're going to just make it right. Because this is recorded. Coming on here with a perfect conversation. You know what I'm saying? I came on here very respectful. All of that. You came on here literally lying on me. Wait a minute. You said you came on here respectable. Let me tell you what a respectable person would do. Study the person before they ask them a question, especially if the first question that came out of their mouth was disproven five minutes earlier. You said I said this about all black women. Do you believe it would be respectable for someone to walk up to you and say that they know something about you and they be wrong off the first thing they said? You can be. No. Okay. And I also corrected it. I was also. I corrected it. No, I corrected it. I said, no, no, hey, dear. I corrected it. You can't say you did. Well, yeah, you you were wrong. You told me, but I said, you know what? Let me rephrase it. And then I said, okay, well, let me go back. Let me go back to, you know, I tried to think about the video that I was referring to. But you do you understand I, that the I, premise I, at which our I, questioning started was wrong? The first thing it would be like if someone brought you in for an interview after they saw your resume and the first words were, so I see that you're a doctor. You telling me you wouldn't be offended and feel like your time was wasted when that person was supposedly the one who called you because they saw your resume and you know that ain't on your resume, but they called you right. for that. Would you not be okay, offended? But, but I also said, let me. Like I said again, just but you're just not answering now. my question, and I don't understand that. I asked you a simple question: that. Would you be offended? I said yes first. Okay, there you go. Now I said go. yes first, and then I started explaining. This is the second time I did that, and, and you're trying to make it seem like I'm the cuckoo one. And no. anyways, let me. Okay, look. Now, I. Fuck, I fucking forgot what the All right, I'm back. Mm-hmm. So, um, whatever. What I was saying was that um, when I first, when I asked you that, I didn't know word for word of what you said. So I was basically trying to sum it up. And you're right. The the examples that you just gave, you are so right about that. You are so right about that. If somebody came up to me. And I'm going to probably be like, um, no, that's, you know, that's not what it is or whatever. But when that person comes and say, okay, wait, wait, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me rephrase that. Let me, and then try to correct it instead of making excuses for it or still trying to tell me, you know what I'm saying? You know how you don't like nobody trying to, and I don't seem to get mad. You don't like nobody to try to tell you something when you know it's not true. You know what I'm saying? But you got those people out there, but, um, I corrected it. You get what I'm saying? I corrected it. And like I said, I'm very um, smart, very intelligent. I know how to speak to people. I am not stupid by far. So by you saying this is why you don't like to speak to black people alone or black women alone, that's very that that's very fucked up. That's very because. So wait, 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 wait. I'm not all black. So, so wait, wait, wait. I didn't say you were. So let, let me tell you something. So if your daughter said, this is why I don't fuck people without a condom. <laughs> how the fuck would she look like with some nigga going to just out of line talk about some? That's very messed up. I have every right to no. protect my damn self. Listen to what you just said. When I said I don't like to speak with black women without witnesses, you told me that's very fucked up. Why? No, I'm, but we're not. What I'm saying is we're talking about. I just want to know why. Why do you think that's fucked up? You made the statement that answer the question. If why? I said, if I if I was the type of person that said, "Oh, I didn't say that," you're lying and going back and forth with you. 
then you can say, oh, I'm glad I got a witness. I'm glad I got a witness. I literally am. Dear, you said earlier something that you said, and you kept saying you didn't say it. The audience was saying, yes, you did. No, I said, let me rephrase it. No, no, dear. You said I didn't say it when I was talking about that means you don't, you were not taking your job seriously. You said, you can't say Uh that. And then next time you came back and said, I never said that. And I said, no, yes, you did. You said, no, I didn't. Dear, I do this for a living. When people speak to me, I remember everything they say to me. That's my job. I must remember what you say. Even if it was that one one part. Let's say it was that one part. No, it was. We don't have to let's say it. It really was. Look, right. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It was that one part. Everything else, I owned up to it. If you said that it wasn't right, I didn't say no, you know what I'm saying? I How does that okay, change me saying this is why I do not have any conversations with people off of being recorded because okay, I don't well, like people saying, saying to me people. that they didn't say something. Because if I didn't have the audience and the tape, we would have just sat there and kept arguing it. Right. But by you, what I'm saying is, no, I wouldn't have argued with you. I wouldn't have argued with you at all, period. I wouldn't have argued. But what I'm saying is by you saying now, you just, look what you just said. You said, that's why I don't. That's why um, you don't talk to people. You understand what I'm saying? You say you don't talk to people. I speak about black women because ain't no black man. Let me tell you something. There's no black man or no white man that's going to say I raped them or tried to fuck them. But I've had plenty of black women but who Tommy, do. Ge- come on, we're not talking about. Dear, uh, if you maybe you let you let me finish what I was saying. But women but, do that. So, of course, I'm right. going to say that my job is to make sure I record shit with them because I just had right. two women who I had on my damn show who I treated with nothing but respect. But they got mad and went back and claimed I was trying to fuck them. And if I didn't have the shit written down, they did it. Not white women, not white men, not black men. It was just them. So you would understand me right. saying it. The world would understand me saying this is why I don't put myself in position for them to lie on me. I don't give a fuck if you're not going to do it. It's just like the guy without an STD. He ain't going to complain that you make him wear a condom because he knows you protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. You right about that now. You put it that way. You right about that's fucked up that they would do that. But yeah, you right about that. You absolutely right about that. You are. So I'm protecting myself and I tell every black man that they must do it because the good thing about women, which is the bad thing about them to us is that women don't have any accountability. That's why they can say, well, it doesn't matter that I had two kids at before 20. I still can be a model. Ah, they just not let me do it because I'm black. And you have to understand, I'm a truth teller, and I try to be as nice as I can. But I look at your photos, and the biggest thing that sticks out to me, pun intended, is your stomach. And I'm saying, if this woman... You know how this woman, I have a friend and people saw her. She has Uh, eight children. She's, I think she's 40 now. mm -hmm. But she has a ridiculous shape. She stays in shape. Mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy's ex-wife. One of the biggest Mm -hmm. things people say about her is how great her shape is, which is typically what modeling is. Right. And I'm listening to you now talk about modeling. And Mm -hmm. I listen to you talk about being dark skinned. But what I don't Dark see you doing is, is the the focus because I've gotten um I've gotten gigs and stuff like that, but I'm just saying I'm saying majority of the time. I'm not saying all the time because no, I don't care what anybody say on here, whatever. Every day, every day, no matter where I go, and not to gas myself up, not to be cocky, nothing. I even just did a um But what does that have to do with modeling? Something. No, women all over the world get told they're pretty. About no, no, no. We're not talking about just that. We're talking about shape, everything. People ask me about run track. People ask me, you know, now I have four kids. People be like, you got what kids? You got how many kids? Now, I don't have, and I'm going to explain it to you. You're going to, I don't know if you maybe want to ask a couple of your viewers, am I lying or am I not lying? Or if you can see uh, if you know a few people, women that have uh, cesareans. <clears throat> okay, I have. Four. I know it's difficult. My daughter's mom had one, and she had a hell of a time losing her weight. And let me tell you, I it's not. I don't have a stomach. It's just that you know the cut that you know the cut that goes. You say your baby mom has one, right? 
it's a it took her a lot it took her years to get her six pack it took her years right right and i'm working on that now if you go on my well you I mean, you don't have my snapchat but i'm in the gym every day but um i just started about two months ago and people think I've, i haven't worked out since high school and i just started only two months ago and people think i've been working out years so so listen Point to what ahead. you're saying again you said i have Look, not worked out since high school right but that would be a part of you taking that job seriously no because let me, this is why because my sh i have what you call muscle mass and i have my shape has always been the same no matter what and that's what i'm saying people think that i've been working out and i don't work out people don't think i have one kid people don't think i have three people don't think i have four but the reason why you would say something about uh you probably see like a little probably a piece of skin hang not a, not even a piece of skin because it's tight everything's tight on me um it's because that little c-section cut when they cut you it gets tucked in so it's separating your vagina from your stomach so now it you know what i'm saying it sticks it sticks out if it makes any sense and so it looks like and that's the only part i'm trying to lose right now if is that little cut but they said that you can't really get rid of that unless you have surgery. I don't know how true that is. But all I know is it's annoying. My husband don't find nothing wrong with it. No one finds anything wrong with it. I found something wrong with it because it's aggravating to me. You see it right there? And But actually on this, I gained a little weight. I'm not that big no more. Okay. I gained uh, that was April 30th. One. Yeah, I'm not um, that big no okay. more. And me, that's what I'm saying, like body up. weight. Let me go to the most recent one then. Go ahead. But go ahead. Keep talking. Yeah. But um, but yeah, if you if you would have put that back up there, I would have showed you the 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 scar and why it would um be like that. Okay, um, this is a recent one. This is where you right. are now. Right. So you see where my my pants stop there, right? Uh huh. That's where the cut stopped at. So and then by this being laced around the 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 um stomach part obviously it's pushing everything it's like it's freaking suffocating me you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's like if a woman have on some tight ass jeans and the buckle part is so goddamn tight all they damn stomach gonna lift up you get what i'm saying so like that's basically that's that's basically what i'm saying and basically what Cause I don't know if you can, um, you'd have to back away from the camera, like go backwards. Yeah. My bed right there. So you could, Oh, you can see it. You see it. Okay. Now, now, now do me a favor and just turn. Oh, you, Oh, you holding it in your hand. Never mind. All right. Now, let me point something out to you. I'm I'm not trying to be. So I'm saying I'm talking about this part right yes. here is like is where the cut is at. What so I'm trying to like, say to you though, you don't have to have to, like um, one of the things that a woman can do for her shape. Hold on. Uh huh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, the phone dropped. I'm sorry. That's okay. You have to get there. You go. One of the things that a woman can do, especially at an older age and having children, if you're in amazing shape, people throw that up all the time. It's the easiest way to get a modeling job. Do you know that Raquel Welch got her modeling job after she had been divorced? Her husband left her and she had two children. I think she was 23 years old at the time. Her husband left her and she was having to work as a um, secretary to take care of her children. Well, somebody saw her and was like, you should be modeling. And she never thought about it. She ended up modeling. But it's because she had such an amazing shape. No one believed she even had any children, which made it more impressive. And that's what I'm saying. No one thinks that I have kids um, unless I tell them. But. I don't know. And, and people say, oh, do you model or you do this, you do that. And, you know, I just tell them even in the past now, and that's just, I mean, that's just the way it is. But just because people on, on the streets, um, 
you know, can tell they can tell you anything and you can know. And I, I as a dark skinned woman, I let me tell you. I don't care what nobody say. As a dark skinned woman, I know I look good. I know my shape is I'm not fat, I'm not skinny. I have four C sex, four You yeah, but listen to what you just said. I'm not now, fat, I'm not skinny. Right. But you're average. I'm in now, between. You're, you're average. That's what that right. is. So let me point something out to you what modeling is. Mm. Modeling does not cater to the average person. Yeah, I know. They cater to the tall, skinny. Okay, you know what? And and I call it modeling, but that's not the model that I'm talking about. Not the runway model. I'm talking, maybe I should have just started off with. You're talking about print modeling? No, I should have just started off with acting. Okay, so as um, as far as an, an actress, where can I find some of your in film work? Movies or reality TV. So where can I find yeah. some of your film work? Right. No, no, I'm asking. Huh? Where can I find some of your film work? Would, no, I've never, I've never done any film work, but that's what I was trying to pursue. And I've been, Okay, I've been so let me ask so you this many. question. Let me ask you this question. If you were trying to pursue acting, have you taken any acting classes? I did. I did. Um, I've went to a lot of. Um, I've been to a lot of. Um, Where? Where'd you graduate from? I graduated from Miami Killian Senior High School. No, 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 no. Where'd you graduate from your acting class? They give no, you... I I took acting like you know like they have like the acting lessons down here. I yes, they usually give you. From. Yes, they usually give you a certificate when you finish. No, they um I went they had like a few. You took acting here. classes and they did not give you a certificate for it at the end of it that you could present to you, uh, potential acting because it wasn't it wasn't like a school acting it wasn't like an acting school. So okay. what, what? Okay, the question I asked was again just, was, it was like, I, I asked the it question. Was like, uh, no, but I asked a direct question. I said, "Did you uh, go to acting school?" That was a direct. question. You see what just happened? No, I mean, no, not acting school. But I've had acting lessons. But yeah, no, not acting school. If you want to be direct with it, but no. that would literally why I asked the question. It would be like if you asked me how old I was, and I was like, "Well, if you want to be direct, like, what else did you ask?" <laughs> no, because I know, no. No, seriously, like I know it's acting school and then I know sometimes like, you know, they have the acting lessons like, you know, like they have singing lessons. They yes. And at the end of each, they give you a certificate for finishing. Just like if I take mm -hmm. swimming lessons, they will give me a certificate for finishing. If I take piano lessons right now, they will give me a certificate for finishing it. Well, yeah, that's probably if you go <laughs> for like a whole semester or something. Not what? once probably every two months or something like that no you don't get a certificate so you didn't finish it is what you're saying that's what i'm saying listen instead of trying to make me look stupid, how am i trying I'm to make you look something listen, when i'm trying I'm to understand what you're saying what i'm saying i don't know where you're from but where i am from we have something that called acting classes you go there you you act you you know what i'm saying you you play roles and stuff like that and it's just it's just something that's just like a a dance school but no that's no a dance school is a dance school but like if you go to a singing class you're not gonna just get a certificate because you went to a singing class now if you went to a singing school you're gonna probably you know get a certificate or something like that but if you just go you know to acting class you know oh well they're, they're holding that um uh acting class tomorrow down at miami Day college you know, it's free or... It's, well, that means you didn't a, take it. Ahead, All I'm go. saying is then that would mean you didn't take it seriously because you need it. You want that certificate if you don't have the film work behind you. Yeah. It's just like with any other thing in business. Either you have the ability to do that job so mm -hmm. and you have the history of it so they don't need you to have a degree or you have a degree because you don't have the history of it. Right. So if you wanted to be an actress... You either get the certificate because you do not have the background in it. You don't have the film work or you mm -hmm. go get the film work, which means you don't need the certificate because now you can show them the film work. It's one right. or the other. But um, and as far as like reality and stuff go, I didn't think that you need to go and get all of this stuff for that, because I know now that I, I have knowledge about acting and reality. I have knowledge about 
those type of things. And sometimes. So reality okay, just means you just, become a personality and you become such a, 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 I was, I'm looking for the correct word, but you become such a gregarious person or funny looking person or whatever it is, your stick. And people want to watch you because of your stick. And it becomes so popular that you become either your own reality show or someone picks it up. Right. So what's your stick? And that's what that's what I'm saying. And that's why I said um, that's why when I was trying to pursue it, I, w- I would go to like auditions and stuff like that um, for like little movies and stuff. But. I mean, so what's I your stick? I, w- I just want to know, like, what's your thing? What's your thing? What do people come to watch and get from you? Why do people do mean, want like, to see on yeah, my your YouTube channel? Wherever, or, if you're trying to be a a, a personality, what's your persona? Well, yeah, on my YouTube channel, the only thing I really do on there, because like I said, I just started, so I'm just now learning everything. Like mm-hmm. I have this, I have such a big, you know, personality and everything like that. But to get to your question, um, I just basically, you know, like the basic. Like, do you know this is an audition for you, if that's what you were doing? That every time you get in front of a camera, which is why I right. would have thought that when you came on to my show, that you had an idea of what you wanted to do and an idea of what you want to convey. Every time I, did, I go but anywhere. When, when I got when I got in front of you for some reason, if I could be totally honest, there we go with that totally honest bullshit. If when I got in front of you, like I was like, like every, it, it's like everything went left. You get what I'm saying? Like everything that I, I wanted to ask you so much stuff. Like that's why I say it up. It, right now, it's, I don't know what time it is where you're at. It's 6.35. Yes, it's 6.32. I mean, 3.32 here. And so I stayed up. Um, I think I didn't. I, I fell asleep maybe 4 o'clock mm-hmm. until, um, until you finally called me back. Because mm-hmm. I wanted to really talk to you. And I had everything that I was going to say. I had everything that I wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? Which let me add, let me point now, something out to you. Everything. You've been at you asked me to come on the show. You had an idea right. of what you wanted to say. I said we'll do it tonight. You had several right. hours to prepare. Do you understand right. that all you had to do was do something as simple as and it goes back to preparation. All mm-hmm. you had to do was do something as simple as write down your questions. Right. Then you would have looked prepared and you would have literally not even if you were nervous, you would have been able to go one, two, three four and you would have looked very good and i would have if i couldn't answer them look pretty bad but because you couldn't yeah. even get yourself together i had to run an interview that i didn't want to run i just wanted to be interviewed it's i don't have to think when i'm being interviewed you this throw is, me this questions my out. first time this is my first time and like that's just like with anybody so you can't really fault me for that because i actually can first, i mean like you I actually can. You ever heard of a saying you never you ever heard of a a saying you never get a second chance to make a Mm -hmm. first impression. And yet you just told me I couldn't fault you for making a bad first impression. That's like uh, me telling a woman you can't fault me for the fact that I look really clumsy the first time I met her and she lost interest. Right. No. Um. I mean, if you put it that way, you are Mm. you're right about you're right about that. What the hell is that? Okay, so yeah, you're right about that. Um, first impression is always the best impression. But um, like I said, the only thing I can say is this is my first time ever, ever, ever being in, um, you know, talking to someone like yourself. So of course I was nervous, and plus knowing the type of uh, platform that you're on and the type of stuff that you talk about. But you asked like, for this. You know, I, I, if I, I yeah, dear, no. if if yeah, I asked you at saying. the last minute and I walked up with you with yeah. a microphone, everything you're saying would make sense. When you mm-hmm. ask to go to a company to interview, I used to do right. this at IBM. You don't send your resume to me. Ask me to be interviewed. I bring you in, ask you questions about IBM and you don't know. You wanted to dr- work at this job. You should come in and impress me that you know so much about IBM. And when you can't do that, then I think you're being like you're 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 careless, that you don't take it seriously. 
And that makes me judge this individual because I say, how can I put this person on my team and send them out to go and try to sell Cisco gold to someone else when I know they're not going to do something as simple as homework on a prospective client? I am a prospective client that you reached out to. The least you could have done to show me respect was research. Because you were asking for my time. And do you understand you got my time for free? When other people are paying for it. So think about why, how I would feel right now at three 36 in the morning after I just talked to one woman for an hour and a half, after I then took phone calls for another two and a half hours. And now I've been on with you for, it says, uh, I think it's been about two hours. Well, let me check. I one hour, 46 minutes and 48 seconds. Yeah. That's how long we've been on. Now, I take my craft seriously. How would you feel if you would went through all these acting classes, if you knew how to read scripts and you knew how to do everything right? And a person brought you in to do a movie and yet you got there. There was no script. They didn't know it. You said the word dailies. They never knew what you were talking about. They didn't have their camera people there. They just called you in a professional. How would you feel? Yeah, I, I mean, I would feel, you know, I would be upset. But see, the thing about it is, I came on here to talk about one thing. When I came on here, we went and talked about my kids, my what I was. Because doing. when you had the opportunity I, I had to do it, but that. you're not, you're not blaming the person who you should be blaming. I was here to field questions. When you right. started off, you went blank. You forced me to now have to pull from you when the setup was supposed to be you pulling from me. Well, All because you, you weren't prepared. I asked you, why did you feel that way about? Dark and I Man corrected World? you and said that that's not how I feel. And then you said, well, OK, why do you say this about most? And I asked you, I said, why would it be wrong for me, first off, to say, let's just go back to what you said. If I did feel this way, why would it be wrong? Because I needed to establish a premise of why am I wrong? Then I turned around and said, and, I, and, I, and like right now, I'm talking to you directly. You're concentrating on what they're writing. Okay, um, let me get this person together real quick. See? How did I tell stories, um, Selena, whatever the fuck your name is? Listen, let me tell you something. I'm not one of these bitches that be on here because now I'm about to get ghetto because first of all, none of you bitches out there know me. That's just number one, okay? I am human. I got on here. The shit went left. Now maybe we do this another time. I will be more. I will be more prepared. But at the end of the day, coming on somebody's platform as like himself, okay? Like I said, I'm human. I got very nervous, and everything went left. So to all you out there, I can't read. Everything's going really fast. You understand none of you your probably, who, who, none of you who probably in the comment section talking bullshit probably can't even come on here and y'all probably would have hung up after the first goddamn thing that y'all didn't want to hear or y'all would have probably been making excuses for it i hold my own 10 toes down all day every day so i can care less about what any one of you out there what what y'all got to say and I'm not about to get on here and act like none of these other people that I done seen Tommy interview. But I'm just going to let you guys know that. Period. Because I'm not about to prove none of y'all right about us dark-skinned women. And yet, that's exactly what you just did. Do you understand what you just did? Yeah, I just got out of my character for a comment. Did that you I really made. get out of your character or is this who you are? Because when people say this, and I remember saying this when I was young, I hated hearing black women claim you're going to make me lose my religion. And you never had it. No, uh -uh. I, I don't I'm, I don't say that. If this but, is what um, if, if you are not in character, I, 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 I even tried to stop earlier. you, ma'am. Ma I tried to stop you from doing what you were doing. And whatever was in you made you keep doing it. Do you understand? I sat right here and said, ma'am, concentrate on what I'm saying, not what they're writing. And you know what you told me? When, when did you say that? Guys, audience, did that? I not say when she was squinting? I said, there you go 
reading what they're saying instead of listening to what I'm saying. You should oh, be no, listening I to what I'm saying. Of course you didn't. But what you said was when I when I said that to you, ma'am, when I said that to you, you did hear me because your response to me right after that was, oh, no, hold on. I just got to get this person together. That's what you said. No, I didn't hear what you said when when you did like, when you did the hand movement. I thought you were like saying basically like go and and, you know, read or whatever. Or answer Why would I be telling you to go read? I didn't know. I didn't say that you told me. I'm saying when you did that, I thought you were just like, okay, well, you know, like just a hand, just like go ahead. Because I didn't hear. Why would I say go ahead? Said. Why would I be? Why would you think that? And why would your response because is, your oh, no, hold on. Answer. I just got to get this person together. Why would you say that if you thought I was saying go ahead and read it? Why would you then say in response to go ahead and read it? Oh, no, I just got to get this person together right quick. Why would that? That doesn't even make sense. No, that's what I thought you were saying. Cause I didn't hear anything that you were saying. I didn't hear nothing. And you didn't, did you hear, didn't hear anything I was saying there, because you weren't. Con even, Do you understand why you did not hear what I was saying? Because you weren't yeah. listening because you were staring at what someone was writing. Yeah. That guy and then you turned around and told them, I don't care what none of y'all say while addressing right. what they that said. Got to me. That got to me. Okay. You know listen, got to me? dear, because dear, why? D talking does not make it right. You right. said. I don't care what none of y'all say while addressing what they said, but ignoring the person who took time out of his night and day to talk to you. So you disrespected me. Then you disrespected yourself because you claim you're trying to show that dark skinned women are different. And you went we right are, to well, where they're the them, same. All of them is not the same. All of them are not the same. I don't care what nobody's saying. I said that you were trying to show that you yourself is the proof yeah. that dark skinned women are different. Right. I cannot prove to white people that black folks ain't violent by being violent. Right. But I'm human. That's, That's not an excuse. You seen something? That's just like if you seen something, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna go and, and say something about that. That is problem. not an excuse. It's not an excuse, but you are human, correct? Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, black women do nothing wrong. When they even when they do something wrong, their response is you are human, but you do something wrong to them, no, I guarantee no, you I'm, I'm human will not ex they won't they won't accept. If you tell a black woman when you do something to them, they will not accept that you are human as a response. I said you are right. How many times you want me to say? You keep saying but. Ma'am, when people say you're right, but shouldn't follow. Right? You are so right. If I that tell an individual, I shouldn't have never. All you have to do is pay attention right. to the person you asked for the right. conversation, not the other people in the comment section. Those right. people are going by what they see. And you don't even like that. I'm going by what I, what I see. So, you know, you ain't going to like somebody backing it up. If I say to you and you're talking directly to me, you fat. If your husband say you fat, you really ain't going to like it when the neighbor says it. Because that's your husband. All that's going to do is back it up when he's when other people say it. So it's going to offend you. So you surely shouldn't go like and I ask the neighbor. Anybody, any reason to talk negative about me. I came on here. The only thing that I can honestly say is I didn't have. That's your opinion. Right. Dear, that's your I opinion. Have my questions right. That's no, it. but dear, and that's. Do you hear what you're saying? You said I didn't give an audience of people who are watching a basketball game. Yes, this guy's trying his heart out, but he missed five mm -hmm. shots in a row. And I admit it to it. Wait, wait, no, no. I admit it to it, no, which no. I should have said, can we do this tomorrow? I should have said that. And I admit it to it. I'm not giving you an excuse. Guys, can five shots. I'll, I'll talk I'm to the audience then since you're not going to listen to me. All right, guys. No, if you I'm shoot, listening. I'm listening to if you. you shoot five shots in a row in front of your home crowd and you're trying your ass off mm. and you miss all five shots, what mm. will typically the crowd do when you get the ball again? Boo. Yeah. Now they're not being mean. You take it that way though. But they're fans. And the one thing right. they came to see is their team hit shots, not miss. So ma'am, when you came onto the show, you know what they came to see by the title? You put me in a corner by asking really good questions to see if I can answer them. Audience, and am I, I lying? Audience, but am I lying? Every time I do these one-on-ones, even my fans Honestly, they want to see somebody make me look bad. They do. And I cannot blame them because right, well, 
tell you. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. And I am a woman, smart black woman. And I'm going to tell you this. Okay? I, um, I mean, I believe in second chances. I don't know about you. But I do have a lot to ask you. I have a lot to ask you. And, um, I mean, I don't know how it turned around. Like, But like you said, I, I didn't have my shit together. So it turned out to my kids, my husband, this, that, the third, the fourth. It turned out to all of that. But, um, so... So if I don't know you and I ask you better questions than you who said you were friends with, uh, or that you follow me, you couldn't ask me good questions to put me in a, that's a problem. If you say you're Wait, smart, say and you, if you're saying that you're smart and you keep saying this, mm-hmm. just like you said, you're a queen, black women love giving themselves well, that's titles. Just the name. It's not like, no, no, no I'm, I'm saying I'm you're just, giving your, you're exalting queen, yourself, you know I'm but I'm saying you're it's exalting. Just like, it's just like a, a name that you have to you have to make up a name for no you, you know don't. for something for, how many white for queens do you know Instagram or Facebook how many something? white queens how, do you know how many white what how many white queens do you know uh that's none of my business I don't too much know any not that I know of but that's if they were to call themselves a queen I think every woman should be called a queen I think every woman should call themselves the queen, just like I, I believe every man should call themselves the king. If every car was a Bentley, would Bentley be special? No, it wouldn't. But I'm special, so, hey. See how, like, game. even direct questions, you will say something different. You said every woman should be called a queen. And I'm pointing mm-hmm. out that if every woman was a queen, then the queen title would mean nothing. Right. Now, so every woman shouldn't be unless you want it to mean something. Right, but see, you get what I'm saying, Tommy? Listen, listen, just hear me out for a second. Now, you're teaching me some things because, you know, you're the type of person that is very, uh, how you say it, doubt, like, specific, you know, you get what I'm saying? Shouldn't like, we all? Oh, words person. should mean something. We shouldn't go around speaking and the words that come out of our mouth mean nothing. Literally, when we say something, right. people should get something out of what we're saying. When I speak to my audience, my audience should walk away from that show either understanding how I feel about something or myself or something I'm trying to convey. If I'm not able to do that, then I am wasting my time and wasting theirs too. Well, like I said, man, when I got on here, I had questions to ask. But since the first question fell, it turned into my hair. That's the first thing you asked me, my hair. You ain't even give me an opportunity to ask you anything else because everything else was referred, which I already kind of figured that. But I Okay, dear, how about this? The- how about this? Since you're going to play that game, here's what I'll do. My I'm hair- gonna ba- No, I'm going to back up now. Since I somehow did it, which that's not what happened, but you guys are no, going to be able to go back and read. Nope, 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 nope. I like, pl- I like playing the game right. If somebody says that I didn't listen to them, I then shut up. I and li- I, did, I said, I if so, that. oh my God. I go said, ahead, if go somebody ahead. says this is an example. Okay. I said, if they said this, then I would then listen because they said I didn't. Okay. So you said you didn't get a chance to ask me any more questions because I took over. So what I should be able to do right now then, and you should have it together now because we've been two hours. So you should be knowing what you want to say now. I'm going to step back and let you have the mic. What are your questions? Okay. So we're going to start over. Mm-hmm. Start as, over? A matter, uh-huh, as a matter of fact, let me do this. 